Hey everybody, this is uh, Incendar here, making another video. Hopefully this one will be pretty quick, even though the one I did yesterday ended up being a half an hour. I think I can keep this one a little quicker. I'm testing out video quality this time too, because I noticed there was a lot of blurring in my last video, so hopefully this will fix that. So for processing, there's a lot of benefits. You'll notice I'm cutting just some wood here, and as a special proc, I'm actually skipping right from planks to plywood. So this processing is profitable. I mean, it doesn't make billions in an hour profitable, but it's just something you can do, and it's easy to make your own stuff rather than buy it on the marketplace. Um, I'm just taking some timber and making planks and getting plywood as the proc. This isn't huge money by any means, but one thing that's interesting about processing it seems to max out somewhere near the end of professional, maybe professional five or ten. Um, if you get to artisan one, you're pretty much good to go with all the special procs. I haven't really noticed too many more up in master. Now how I got to master, I pretty much AFK, and I'll show that near the end of the video of a really good way to do that. But the first thing a lot of people don't know about processing is all the items take different amounts of time to actually process. So, for instance, timber is much faster than ore. So if you're doing ore, you know, a thousand ore, it's going to take about 50% longer than doing the same amount of timber. So the amount of time is actually different. There's no way to really increase that because processing gear only does the success rate. And I mean, that makes it so you don't fail, I guess. And it helps a little, but it doesn't terribly speed it up. It does help. And of course, with the gear you're getting, some additional experience, 20% for this one, for for example. You can use T too, and this really helps to level up processing faster, so I always grab one of those if I'm gonna do a lot of processing. So the items that are really slow and take much longer to level up your processing are ores. So these, these are good if you just like you know, dump like 2,000 in there or whatever. And then you can process that for quite some time. Maybe an hour if you have a couple of thousand. So it's not really the best AFK because you're going to have to come back every hour. The best, I'm going to post a link on this video to show how much experience every single item gives for uh, processing so you can compare the best to the worst. The highest experience ones that take up the least amount of weight, cotton, flax, and uh, fleece, as well as their second tier knitting yarn, cotton, flax, fabric. These ones are the best because You'll notice wood's pretty fast to process, but you'll notice the weight is 0.5, and then the fabric, all the different fabrics are only 0.1. So you can really stock up on these fabrics, and they also give the highest experience per proc or processing, so they're the best to power level up processing. So like I have 11,000 here, I might grab 5,000 of these things. So see, it doesn't even take too much weight. You can set a large amount of these and then AFK for quite some time. You can say I have like 7,000. If you have more weight, you're gonna be able to do a lot more. 
and just leave it for hours AFK. And this is one of the best experiences, experience per proc too. So this is going to be really quick. This is actually the fastest way to power level processing using uh, the different fabrics. And tier one gives a thousand experience each. And tier two, actually tier one gives 500 and tier two gives a thousand each process. So. Wool is the tier three or the final tier. And this is tier two. Now you can set up nodes for all the different fabrics. The popular one is up here. Fleece. But it's fabrics are pretty much everywhere. Flax. Hydel is perfect for me because it's centralized to everything. Flax. Cotton's more over this way. I'll probably post the link showing where each, each one is so you can find it. An easy way to level up the processing AFK, and you can do this for like probably a day. And what you make is actually usable. And that is wheat. You can see it doesn't weigh very much. Now wheat is about 75 experience per proc or process. So I just set up, what is it, uh, 7300. Now this wheat, you'll notice that, pull this up, it's only using one for every process where everything else uses five or 10. So this is gonna be a long time. I mean, you can just leave this for a day if you have enough weight. And this is really one way to get your processing up and not have to do anything, which is pretty much the way I like to play this game. So just leave this pretty much overnight or whatever. Flour is very useful for cooking. I mean, you can sell this, but it's probably better just to keep a stock. I try to keep, you know, 10 or 20,000 of these things because they're very useful in cooking. I'm gonna do the cooking video and show this is this will save a lot of time. The items you can make with this, with cooking, are extremely profitable. Not just Imperial, but also Marketplace. Now the other thing you can do... And this is another great reason this is so good. After you make all the wheat, or the dough, flour actually, you go to shake, and again, this only takes the flour you already made, and then uh, NPC, a NPC cheap item, I think these are like 5 silver or some 10 silver, mineral water. Plus flour shaking equals dough, and you're getting. You can see I'm getting the procs here. So the first night you could maybe just do all the wheat to flour, and then the next night flour to dough. And both of these items, flour and dough, are very useful in cooking for some really high profitable items and for spamming. And I will get into that in a cooking video. I think, yeah, it's twice as much, 150 experience going from flour to dough. So this is actually twice as much experience as this. And again, 
these don't weigh anything pretty much. So you can just do it for a really long time. You know, set it when you get to bed or go to work, and uh, when you get back, you'll have a much higher processing level. I, even at Master Nine, it, this will increase. It's just very slow, but it's all AFK. So you know. also, for any reason you can't get wheat, any of the cereals will work for this. So just pulp marketplace. Search for wheat, barley, potatoes, or sweet potatoes, and corn also with this. You see all these are sold out, so you can either wait around for that to buy all these on the marketplace or just set up your worker nights. And I think that'll just about cover it. Thanks for watching, subscribe for any new videos, and thanks a lot.